Conor McGregor is an anomaly in the fight world. A millionaire many times over, he doesn't particularly need to fight anymore, yet he is reportedly going to make his comeback after his injury layoff sometime this summer. However, it has been claimed recently that many fighters are scared of him. Today, we're discussing if this is actually true and what might be the reasons behind it. So, stay where you are. First up, let's talk a little about Conor's recent past. After becoming champ champ in 2016, defeating Eddie Alvarez, McGregor took a long hiatus from the sport and some claim the superstar Irish fighter had collated far too much money to ever be a threat in the sport again. Two years later, he made his long-awaited comeback against lightweight king Khabib Nurmagomedov and was duly dismantled in the process. It turns out you can't take two years off and drink your own brand whiskey on private yachts and then come back to challenge for a world title against one of the most dominant champions in the history of the sport. Who knew? Skip forward to January of 2020 and McGregor made another comeback against one of the sport's most popular fighters, Donald Cerrone, finishing him in the first round via shoulder strikes, one of the lesser-used techniques. After he had successfully taken apart Cowboy, he faced off against old foe Dustin Poirier, whom he knocked out back in 2014. It was a different outcome this time, as the Diamond knocked the Irishman out before taking him on again six months later, with McGregor breaking his leg in the process, handing another victory to Poirier. Connor's on the mend right now, however, and it seems likely that he'll fight again sometime this year. We would expect Dana would have him penciled in for fight week in July, as he tends to like his superstars to fight then. What have you made of McGregor's recent career? So why are fighters scared of him? Well, let's talk about his trash talk first. Nobody likes being made to look stupid. Nobody. And Conor McGregor has the ability to tear you apart mentally before you even step into the cage. Just ask Jose Aldo. The pair went to battle back in 2015 for Aldo's featherweight title, with McGregor coming out on top after knocking the Brazilian out in just 13 seconds. Both fighters have been present during the world tour to promote the fight, with McGregor using his trash-talking tactics to great effect to get inside the head of the Brazilian. Aldo, who was unbeaten in the better part of a decade, uncharacteristically rushed McGregor as soon as the bell went, opening himself to a counter left hook to devastating effect. He was knocked out, and some have even claimed he has never been the same fighter, however. After three defeats in a row, he has put together a three-fight winning streak. Another man to fall foul of McGregor's famous tongue lashing is Jeremy Stevens. At the pre-fight press conference at Fight Week back in 2015, Stevens tried to insult the Irishman, only for McGregor to brush him off with six now immortal words in the world of MMA. Who the F is that guy? That put-down was so sharp and quick that Stevens was left red-faced and offered nothing in the way of a comeback. Severely embarrassing. When is the best insult you've ever heard McGregor offer? Let us know below. Next up, it's his obvious talent. Stay tuned. Prior to taking Aldo's featherweight title off of him, Conor McGregor was on a 14-fight win streak, the Aldo fight making it 15. He won his first seven fights in the organization and was also a double champ in the Cage Warriors promotion, something he would later emulate on the bigger stage with the UFC. At this point in his career, the Notorious was pretty much feared by everyone, and Dana had a star in the making. Someone who would not only talk, but had the hands to back it up as well. He was flying through opponents at a rate of knots and six of his first seven wins in the UFC came via stoppage. At this point, everyone in both the featherweight and lightweight divisions feared McGregor, as he was putting everyone away. Since those days, it's fair to say that fighters probably don't fear the Irishman as much, as he has seemed to fall off a cliff when it comes to his performances. However, he still holds that knockout power in that left of his, and he's still a big money draw, so potential opponents would probably get over any fear they had of looking silly if they were going to be guaranteed a slice of that potential money pie. What's your favorite performance of Connors? Let us know below. Some booze news from McGregor now. Stay with us. As you will know if you're a follower of McGregor's on social media, the man likes a pint. So much so that he actually owns a pub himself, the Black Forge Inn in the Irish capital, Dublin. McGregor has recently announced to fans that he is in training for a UFC return sometime this year and even hinted at a potential move up to welterweight after piling on the muscle. But his latest social media post will have fans of the Notorious concerned. Instead of being in the gym, training feverishly ahead of a return to action, he posted multiple pictures over the past weekend of him in the pub, surrounded by drinks, which wasn't a good look, and had fans commenting. The picture showed McGregor with a tray of shots, whiskey all over the place, and also cocktails in the vicinity. One fan commented telling him it was time to stop, while another said, this man is never coming back to fight like he used to, which might be seen as harsh, but given McGregor's problems with drink in the past, it could be seen as fair. The fan went on to say that at this point, he's just enjoying life, and if people think he will get back to former glories, they're just kidding themselves. Another even went on to predict that McGregor gets knocked out when he comes back to fight. McGregor's recent quotes in the Octagon have seen him slip down to number nine in the rankings, his lowest ranking in years, and spending more time in the pub than the gym won't help that. Some more potential trouble for the Irishman next. Stay tuned. Last week, Wednesday, February 2nd, McGregor's luxury car, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, was pictured parked outside his Dublin pub in the Drim area of the city. Well, what's the problem with that, we hear you cry? Well, nothing, apart from the fact that spotted in the window of the car was 
an out-of-date tax disc. To make matters worse, it wasn't just out of date by a few days. It was almost a year since it had been renewed, displaying an April 2021 date. You would think with all the money he makes, he would be able to afford to tax his cars properly. Naughty, naughty, Connor. A potential matchup for us to discuss when he finally makes his comeback now. McGregor's longtime coach, John Cavanaugh, was recently interviewed on all things McGregor, and obviously the topic of conversation was soon directed to who the Irishman would be fighting next when he finally gets back fit and healthy. And this was Kavanaugh's first priority, getting his fighter back to peak fitness. Kavanaugh, who's head coach over at SBG Ireland in Dublin, went on to say that basically it doesn't matter who he fights, as there's nothing quite like a McGregor fight week, let alone a McGregor fight night, and we would tend to agree with him. Even now, with McGregor not competing at anywhere near the level he was in the middle of the last decade, he's still a massive draw, and Kavanaugh did mention a couple of names to get fans excited. First out of the hat was Stockton's finest, Nate Diaz. Kavanaugh said, it doesn't really matter. You say any name and it's exciting. Probably the Diaz trilogy would be a fan favorite, but let's just get him back healthy, back ready, and back competing. The Nathan Diaz fight would be the rubber match, with each having won one fight previously, so it makes perfect sense to pencil this one in for fight week. What do you guys make of this one? Would you like to see these two dance once again? And finally, one other name Kavanaugh mentioned. It's not like Kavanaugh to do McGregor's bidding for him, as we all know Connor calls out whoever, whenever he wants. But Kavanaugh did address his fighter calling out Aussie featherweight champ Alexander Volkanovsky recently, claiming that it was very much out of character for McGregor, something we all know he was joking about. Volk takes on the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung in his next defense, but could McGregor be next in line after that? It makes more sense than an instant shot at the lightweight title, as that division's more stacked right now than the featherweight division, and Volk's fast running out of opponents. McGregor claimed he could kick the Australian's head off like a rugby ball, but we're not sure. Volk's much more active and is currently the holder of a 20-fight win streak, so we doubt it would be all that easy. Who would you like to see McGregor fight next? Let us know below. As always, thanks for tuning in today, and remember to stop by next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not do us a favor and share this video with any fight fans you know of. Bye, guys!